in your case na you are having this years of experience you are having in uh, react plus react native yes sir right and yes. but this is this is you know less like only maximum 10 months right yeah but then 3 to 3 to 3.5 years you have done the work in uh, android right yeah in android 90% of times you used kotlin and 10% of times you had to use java right because the project were a mix of java and kotlin right yeah sir so this all is good but now the thing is that they are paying you very less as per your four you now have four point some year experience right total yeah sir okay so let me share if i scroll below okay so you have this much experience and internship so can you explain me like how did you get the internship here uh actually what happened was like i had to prepare i was preparing for gate uh, after my graduation so i started preparing for gate uh, so i took two drops for gate and in 2021 when i didn't clear uh, gate like after the exam i got to know that i won't be clearing gate by that much so i basically went out to look for a job so my friend was working one of my friend was working in this organization so he referred me for it so basically they hired me on an internship basis role in the meanwhile okay, there is a there is a two year gap after your graduation also right yeah because of the gate preparation right yeah 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 but finally you gave up on gate and you started working only right yeah yeah yes sir in your situation now you want a job in a good company with a good package right yes sir see in your years of experience na person generally gets somewhere from you know 30 to 60 till 80 lpa also clear yes sir now in your case even reaching this 30 will be must be a dream because your current is 8 okay yes sir so this lower level can be achieved in 2 3 months only if you do the things properly clear okay sir so right in the book elephant in the room so in your case i will tell you what is the elephant in the room uh, the elephant in the room is uh, dsa basic level dsa should be good is that clear to you okay sir in any interview na they can tell you to implement something or write code for something and if you fear writing code it means your beginner dsa plan is not done clear yes sir yes sir so please complete the beginner dsa plan what do you need to complete beginner dsa plan apart from that can you tell me like uh, where are you in the beginner dsa plan of the eight of the 1000 hour course where are you currently baby uh, step step 0 where are you sir i am currently on the step 1 i had just started step 1 yesterday so i'm currently okay in step 1 there are 45 hacker and questions right okay you must be knowing that you must have seen na so many questions are there in that right yeah yeah sir so you are on question number 1 yes sir you are doing in java right java yes sir so make sure you complete step 1 then step 2 then step 3 then step 4 and get the beginner plan done clear okay sir after the beginner plan you will start doing the pro plan right yes sir but i want you to do the pro plan in a different fashion see when you do the pro plan na there are two videos you know na i told to so many people link one and link yeah, two yes sir yes yes sir see. you please watch them in those links i have explained that if you are a working professional and if you have less time in your life how to do the only 20% of pro plan can get you 30 lpa result you got my point okay sir so you don't need to do the full pro plan only 20% you have to do how to do only 20% as a working professional that is explained in link 1 and link 2 you got my point you will watch them when you come to the pro plan so that you don't have to do it entirely okay 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 sir when do you have to do the pro plan entirely when you are trying for you know 60 to 80 lpa companies like uber google for hd3 and those type of roles you got my point okay okay sir i don't think in next 2 3 months you are trying for 60 80 lpa right yeah sir so no need to do full pro plan just do the beginner plan and 20% pro plan and generate the intermediate results afterwards okay. you have a long life after 8 10 months you can do the full thing also clear okay sir so the dsa part is clear right yeah right every sunday 10 pm right in the book personally message me and update me how much work you have done clear okay sir this thing is clear now right you have to make two resumes how many resumes you will make two resumes first resume should be for the roles of you know java senior engineer java backend developer and java full stack developer okay okay that means the first resume is for the ones who are not asking for android got my point okay okay sir back 
एंड रेज्यूमे फॉर द पीपल हु आर आस्किंग यू फॉर मोबाइल डेवलपमेंट एंड्रॉइड डेवलपमेंट एंड यू नो मोबाइल डेवलपमेंट एंड्रॉइड डेवलपमेंट कोटली जावा यू अंडरस्टैंड द डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन देम राइट या सर या वेट लाइक दिस ओनली फॉर अ मिनट सो यू अंडरस्टूड दैट यू हैव टू मेक टू डिफरेंट रेज्यूमेस राइट यस सर making the second resume is not difficult because this is your truth you are really a mobile android guy right yes right? sir so in this resume na i want you to put uh, like uh, two very high quality projects you should put off java plus android plus kotlin like our dev mentor when they meet you they will guide you which one to put but you should put them two very high quality java android plus kotlin projects with okay, the like play store links and all of the apps okay okay, okay sir and one very high quality project on react plus react native like same thing we can make the app and the web application right right yes sir yes sir so this will look very attractive for you know mobile android dev type roles got okay. my point uh, okay uh, sir so you can uh, apply to android react react native roles as well clear okay so uh, sir uh, sorry to interrupt but i had yeah. one concern uh, yeah. actually like uh, before looking out for opportunities like this time around uh because like i have been so out of touch of android currently like like i am hoping or like thinking of finding my way out in web development only so that's why like uh i had shifted to react in the first place i think so that is not a problem okay that is not a problem you are only fearing hard work what you are fearing okay you are fearing hard work what you are fearing repeat after me hard work hard work means preparing nicely for the java web development as well as java android development you only want to do one you got my point yeah sir yes sir so 80% focus you put here but 20% you should put here also why because you are a android guy it means android recruiters will contact you more you got my psychology here yes sir yes sir yes sir so you cannot completely give up you cannot be a guy who knows nothing about android and you know goes to the java dev interview because they will know that you are android guy you cannot hide it too much clear okay okay sir so at least 20% of your time you give to the java android stuff and 80% of the time you will give to the java web development stuff clear okay sir nice thing is that java dsa and java coding is same for both of them so that yes. is the common thing clear yes sir so this i will give you a road map in which the hours will be mentioned what to do for how many hours clear okay sir now this thing is done here you have to write the real work experience on what things you have worked how you have worked you must be knowing the popular keywords which are generally used in you know mobile dev android dev kotlin java so mention all those keywords so it looks very attractive clear okay sir then the good good dsa coding profiles and also whenever let's say in google you see some android engineer or walmart you see as mobile dev engineer role, you can always apply with this resume even if you don't want mobile android role but always whenever you see a relevant role as per which is saying like 1 plus years of experience you please apply clear with this resume just to see if they are even giving you interviews or not got my point okay sir now this resume the java dev there are too many roles for that and very easy to get hired in it clear okay sir but here you will have to do lots of fabrication what you will have to do fabrication So the fabrication part will be very difficult here. First of all, here you have to add two JavaScript projects. What you have to add? Two JavaScript projects. All this you are recording, right? Yes, sir. Even if you are not recording, at least write it somewhere. You should know these things, okay? Yes, sir. Two JavaScript projects, very high quality, trying to show LED, HDD in them, and one React project. Now, two JavaScript and one React. This is very nicely given in the Java development code, so you can do from there. Clear? Okay, sir. and when we have the dev mentoring and system design mentoring session with you these things will be explained in detail but for now you got the upper level idea right yeah yes sir completely but the problem is experience problem is in what work experience these guys want the work experience to be in java spring boot but you have work experience in android java you got my problem point what yes, is the problem yes sir so you have to do a 50 50 break up what you have to do 50 50, 50. okay 50% you will show that yeah you did work on android kotlin java in the work experience okay okay sir but then you have to show that this company had one more uh, project okay okay sir of a client which had work in java spring boot micro services so you did 50% work in java spring boot micro services also 50 50 breakup will look like a truthful statement clear okay sir 
and then the problem is solved. Fifty percent work in Java Spring Boot microservice React, and fifty percent work in Kotlin Android Java and React Native. Clear? Okay, sir. So this, if you do well, your job is done. Clear? Okay. Now let's uh, come to the studies. What studies you have to do? Okay. Okay, sir. So you are in the beginner batch, right? Yeah, beginner batch. Tell me when do you go to job and when do you come back? I need to know that. Uh, so my office timings are from eleven. am to 8 pm uh, and i like come by basically uh, visit my office like i uh, basically leave my home at 10:30 around 10:30 and basically come back around 9:30 okay yeah so oh, and saturday sunday you are free right yeah so from saturday sunday I'm free. so right in the book na 2.5 hours you should be doing dsa okay okay sir how many hours you will do dsa 2.5 hours Monday to Friday. Okay. Two point five hour you will do Monday DSA Monday to Friday. Make revision notes on them. What you will do? The revision notes. And five hour you will revise your DSA notes of revision on Saturday Sunday. Got my point? Okay, sir. This thing is clear to you. And every Sunday ten pm you will message me how much work you have done. The day I feel you are getting good, I will take your mock interview. Clear? Okay, sir. So the DSA part clear out of the way. Yes, sir. Five hour you will do Java development. Initially you try to do Java, you know, uh, Spring Boot, microservices, React stuff. Then sometimes you can do Android, Kotlin, Java projects, React Native projects. Do both of them. Don't leave anyone. Okay. Okay, sir. Try to think that maths has algebra and geometry both. What my point? Yes, sir. Got it. So when you are going to tenth standard. Uh, Maths exam, you must have prepared both, right? Yeah. You did not say to your teacher that you will only do algebra and not do geometry, right? Yes. Sir. Similarly, here when we give you the dev plan, please do the Java dev as well as Java Android course, both. Okay. Okay, sir. Five hours you have to spend on these only Java dev on Saturday Sunday. Okay. Okay, sir. Now, right, one to two hours on Saturday Sunday, you will deep dive into Java theory. Android Kotlin theory and React theory interview question answers clear? Okay sir. There are many many interview question answer sheets made. You know na Java interview prep one, prep two, three, four, five, six. Okay sir. And many more relevant documents given in the course. You must be knowing those things. Or if you don't know, I will show you where these resources are. High quality resources clear? Yeah, I know about them. Yes sir. So I will show them to you. Don't worry. But for now, okay. Uh, Ram Ram. So for now, what I want you to do is five hour Java development and one to two hour memorizing the theoretical interview question answers. Clear? Yes, sir. Or if someday you feel bored, you can just revise basic, you know, Java, OOPs, DBMS, okay, and SQL. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. This is all that you have to do. After two months, after how many months? Two months. You will stop learning the Java, Android, Kotlin theory, React Native theory interview question answer because by then you must have memorized them, right? Because you were already doing it one to two hours every Saturday, Sunday, right? Yes, sir. Instead of that, you will replace it by LLD, HLD, machine coding courses of ours. You got my point? Okay, sir. Because high-paid companies can keep some Java system design round and solid principle round. That's why, clear? Okay, sir. But the core of all of this is that Java DSA should be strong. If you know Java DSA coding, you can tackle Java Dev system design anything like a piece of cake. Clear? Okay, sir. So this is the whole plan, and the last thing is that you need to do the LRO very brilliantly. Tell me the full form of LRO. Uh, LinkedIn course resume. Course, course. resume course, off campus course. You know okay. now where these three are situated? Yeah. Resume. You have to make two resumes. Clear? Okay. Okay, sir. Off campus course, please do it and be very active on Nokri. dot com and you know Wellfound. dot com and LinkedIn. dot com and taking the referrals regularly, applying regularly. For example, if you see Cisco Java engineer or Cisco Android engineer uh, position applied to them, you will get referral. You know, na one student is working in Cisco only, right? You saw him recently. Right? Yeah, yeah. Every support is there in the referral doc, but you need to know how to do LRO. So start doing it. Okay. Okay, sir. Right. Be very careful in your LinkedIn. You need to be very careful in your LinkedIn. uh can you get i hope you are getting the hint why am i telling you to be careful in linkedin right yeah you cannot show yourself as only android or only java dev guy you have to show yourself as a mixture of both of them on linkedin experience and linkedin title you got my point yes sir yes sir i'm basically uh, when you jab tum linkedin ka course karoge you're comfortable with hindi as well right yeah yeah i'm comfortable yeah 
जब लिंडिंग कोर्स करोगे ना तो टाइटल के अंदर जावा स्प्रिंग बुट रुको तुमका आरा कहां गया ये ये हां यहां पर है यहां पर ना जावा स्प्रिंग बुट माइक्रो सर्विसेज रेस्ट एपीआई हाइबरनेट भी होना चाहिए और एंड्राइड कोटलिन वोटलिन सब दोनों के रिएक्ट रिएक्ट नेटिव सबके कीवर्ड्स होने चाहिए समझे बात को ओके सर और स्टार्टिंग में हमेशा लिखना सीनियर इंजीनियर एडिनेरे के एंड्राइड डेव वाला है ताकि दोनों के रिक्रूटर कांटेक्ट करे समझे ट्रिक तुम ठीक है सर यहां पर भी अब तुम यहां पर सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर लिखो और यहां पर लिखना एसडी इंटर्नशिप पे मतलब ऐसा करके दिखाओ कि पहले तुम इंटर्न थे फिर एक साल तुम सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर थे फिर अब 2 साल से सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर है ऐसा करके लिखो ताकि थोड़ा अट्रैक्टिव लगे क्लियर ओके सर और स्किल्स के अंदर पता है ना सब मेंशन कर देना जावा डेव का भी और जावा एंड्राइड वाले का भी और दोनों तो थोड़ा सैटरडे संडे को पूरी लाइव सेट हो जाएगी 8 लाख तुम्हारी बहुत कम है तुम कम से कम 20 30 लाख के इंटरव्यू आएंगे तुमको क्लियर ठीक है सर ओके सर संडे पर मुझे याद से मैसेज कर देना कितना काम किया क्लियर ओके सर